Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the MBC Arena for more Pro League. Today, we've got a fantastic matchup for you. A great retro cast here from 2008. It's going to be Jadong versus Firebat Hero. I'm joined here in the casting booth by Ideas once again. We're going to be casting a legendary match here. How are you doing, Ideas? I'm good, man. How are you doing? Good. I've been craving some of these old replays, man. There's some great games that we still got left in our list. And uh, this one has a bit of a twist. I'm excited to check it out. This is not one that I remember that I have in my memory bank. So glad you're bringing this to us today. Let's go ahead and get it started. Oh. This is the ace match of the 2008 NBC Pro League. And the game one has just begun. Oh, the game has just begun. Here's Jadong. Yeah. Spawning in the top left. His opponent fire back Bam here on the top Bamin right. Bamin those. Bamin. his keys. Wait for that 50 minerals to come in. And let's take a look at the map, yep. shall we? Yeah. It's kind of weird. Um, it's a four-player map. You got, uh, there we go. Um, the, uh, you're, you got the, these weird mineral onlys in the center that no one wants to take. You've got kind of two entrances to your natural. And then the weirdest part is how your third base is kind of has two entrances you got this temple on the back of your main that goes like backwards into it through the minerals but no one really wants to do that besides some terrans that will kind of use that as like an in base mineral only that they mine inefficiently but then uh if you go down to your natural third base your or however you would call that uh that's right next to your opponent if they're down in the corner there so it's, it's kind of a weird weird map uh it's kind of it was, it was a pretty terran favored map i guess uh it doesn't seem extremely terran favored but the the pro teams all decided that it was Terran favored enough to almost exclusively play Terran players on it for the <laughs> first, uh, first uh, couple months it was out until they they fixed it up a little bit by removing the mineral onlys. Uh, so they removed the mineral onlys. I don't know how that fixes it uh, for yeah, making I don't it either. less Terran favored. Uh, but uh, some big things to note about this map a lot of bridges a lot of ramps this high ground center area does favor terran quite a lot you can get up and control that area makes flowing around the map much much harder um tight areas here like the long narrow corridor going in towards the natural each natural base with high ground above it from the main base setting tanks up on that area looks uh, brokenly strong be very hard to break a Terran in their natural so we'll see how this one goes take the map away now we're getting into this game it's like a uh, expansion coming up here oh or is that expansion is that a proxy yeah it looks like firebat here is going for a proxy uh, factory over there and uh jadon's just going standard three hat but he's already sniff, sniffing out this factory. He's Jadong. He's Jadong. He uh, spots this right away. He's going to send a second drone as well. Wow, he was fully prepared for what Firebat Hero was going to bring to the table here. Oh, the factory is not going to finish. The SCV goes down. It's so close. But it does get cancelled, and it, now Lings are on the field as well. If he stops this from finishing, it's going to be tragedy for Firebat Hero. These Lings are on their way up here. That does finish, but it's uh, not going to be allowed to produce a Vulture, or at least Fire or uh, Jadon will be prepared to capture that the moment it pops out. You can see he's setting up his Lings 
in a surround formation here. As soon as the vulture pops, he will be able to jump on that. The only move is, oh, Ooh. wait, where? <laughs> why did the vulture pop out on the right there? That was crazy. The vulture gets away. And uh, Jadon gonna be losing out in this engagement. He is taking a nice trade from the high ground, at least uh, taking advantage of the missed shot and the uh, difficulty here of uh, firing up onto high ground. Does get some damage on that vulture, but five kill vulture now gonna head across the map. Do we have a sunken in place from Jadon? He's had more than an ample time to build that. But now the factory is actually going to float into the main and try to land and deal some damage. If he's got some links in the main, he can get underneath this and prevent it from ever landing. Yeah, just going to bring the links forward. Make sure that this can never land. This is of utmost importance that he makes sure that that does not get a vulture into the main. Oh, coming through on the left-hand side here. Going to take some damage from the sunken colony, though. The lings should be able to clean this up. One drone does go down. But Jadong hangs on. Great defense so far from Jadong. Holding on to all this aggression. And now a second CC is up. We do have a eventual transition coming here for Firebat Hero, but it's a little ways away, and the three-hatch play is in full effect now. That one Vulture does manage to get out in the main, but we've got Zergling speed and no speed on this Vulture, so he should be able to deal with it without taking any further damage. Taking some damage on a gas drone, but there's no way to finish that off. He is going to surround and kill this eventually. Come on, man, this micro is good from Firebat Hero. Stellar. Does finally get picked off, though. Yeah, I was, uh, I was oh. like, wait, does that? What? <laughs> yeah, I guess he could have ran, ran. Was that not a tight wall this whole time? Whoa, that was not a tight wall. A little bit of a mistake there from Firebat Hero. I don't know how long this map's been out, but you should be able to know about that. He set up the, the uh, supply depots above the barracks there to make sure that it was linked tight, but not uh, testing that, not testing that beforehand. It's pretty big error here from our Terran player. Now coming down to take the natural. Has two fire bats with this army, so it would be ill-advised for Jadong to go ahead and take an engagement here. More lings running in this side, looking for some kills. Not going to find anything. A spire is on the way now. That uh, Hydra's Den was spotted in the main for Jadong earlier by the Vulture. So he's going to go ahead and tech switch. Try to get some mutas out. Maybe catch Firebat Hero by surprise. He's expecting lurkers to be coming across the map here soon. But if there's a crazy... Oh, a sandwich here. He's going to get around the side of this army. But only one Firebat here. And he's going to surround and completely kill this beautiful control there from Jadong. Able to get right in on top of those units. He's still got a lot of lings left. He could get in here and actually finish off this army. Getting a great surround here once again. But the fire bat standing strong. That is a, a true, hero a fire, fire bat. Yeah, a true fire bat. We both coming for it. Yeah, the, the, a true fire bat hero. Absolutely. Though the, the yeah. overall marine count has been reduced by quite a bit. Yeah. So I, I think I'm pretty sure Jadong made that that Hydra Den because he wanted to be safe against uh, wraiths or uh, a drop, right? Mm. Because Firebat Hero had the, the proxy factory in the in the wall, and so he wasn't sure if he was going to to try to expand and go into to bio or, or what. Uh, so I don't know if Firebat Hero is necessarily expecting Lurkers or Mutas, but his play makes me think that he was just expecting Mutas anyway, for some reason. <laughs> Alright, well we've got turrets out now. Maybe a scan went down in the main to reveal that Spire. Yeah. Coming in, this is Jadong's specialty. Yeah. Able to use Mutas be better than anyone else at this time period. Sort of like... 
uh, how, how Selma is now, you just always expect them to get mutas. That's, that's how Jadon was back then. Yeah, or Snow in the modern age, like, always expect him to go Reaver. Yeah. Kind of uh, his yeah, yeah. unit Jadon of choice. at the time was by far the best mutas player in, in the world. So we've got a fire bat heading down towards the bottom left. Jadong has snagged that expansion. A couple of uh, hydras are just off to the side there. Didn't catch that fire bat moving in, and the fire bat could get some kills on some stray drones. Lings are moving in towards the natural. Is he going to try and break this position here? There's not that many marines. They're tucked into a nice little position here, but quite a few of them are going down to the mutas of Jadong. Jadong. Dealing a huge amount of damage. This fire bat going to work. This is indeed a hero fire bat. My goodness. Oh, wow. He just oh, was all his oh, mutas. He just but... died. Oh, man. As soon as I told everyone he had the best Nita micro. The caster's curse. Yeah. He didn't all... seem to uh, do that much with them either. I think he just missed. He just lost Austin for a second there, huh? I think he was getting distracted by this fire bat down in the bottom left. Yeah. Ended up letting all of those die. And a marine medic force is actually moving through the middle. Lurkers are coming up from the bottom and from the top. To get on top of this, but great micro here from fire bat heroes. Splitting perfectly to kill those three lurkers. Lings are going to get on top of this and probably finish off this force. But it was an excellent trade from fire bat hero. Oh god, he's even going to be able to pull back turn and fight and keep those marines and medics alive Jadon bit on the ropes right now he's lost some units in the bottom left and he's got, probably gonna lose this sunken colony as well Lynx popping out here and bringing back the lurkers and Lynx to try and save this base losing some drones here in the natural nice uh, wall here of medics the Lurkers burrow way too soon, it looks like. He's gonna have to leapfrog them forward once again. Now finally gonna get in range and will finish off all of these Marines, but a lot of lost drones there for Jadong. Quite a few wasted lings as well. A second eBay's on uh, finished up here now. Double upgrades gonna be pumping for Firebat Hero and just now getting to mining once again in the bottom left and at the natural the gas is finally coming in at a reasonable pace as Jadong tries to move into his hive play will he be going for uh, ultra here I think this is at the time when ultra builds were just the absolutely the thing you just never went for anything else Defiler yeah, and well, Hydra I'd sometimes came out, 90, but... 95% of the time you would do all Ultra. Yeah, and he's got that uh, Evo Chamber going here, so he should have Carapace 1 coming soon. He needs to get that high finish, though, uh, specifically so he can get a Defiler out and he can get a Nidus down here in this bottom left because the science vessels are already out on the field. They'll begin irradiating and getting rid of some of those lurkers on high ground. He could potentially break through uh, into that bottom left if we don't have a Nidus here soon. Lurkers on high ground, going to get irradiated too. Lurker's going to die here already. This lurker just going to be sent forward to scout, see where those marines are heading. Some Scourge going in for the kills, but not able to connect. Lurker's backing away now. Jadon, he's got to go on the defensive. It's time for Defiler play. It's time to hold on to three bases and work your way up towards a fourth. Those all-important four gases that will allow him to burst out onto the map with Mass Ultralisk as time goes on. He hasn't secured it yet. He's still kind of fiddling around with these lurkers out here on the map. But there's the Defiler's Nest, or Defiler's Mound, excuse me. We'll be coming up here shortly. These lurkers need to retreat out of here as a few of their brothers get killed by the Irradiate. The Marines are going to shove forward once again, and now we're in a fully defensive position. This is where we see a lot of modern uh, Zerg versus Terrans go. Oh my god, but you rarely ever see this. He's trying to break this location. Oh my god, the ball's on Firebat Hero to try and get through. What was that? 
Eight lurkers? Yeah, no, and no D Matrix. <laughs> wild. Absolute wild, man. Yeah. Uh, that was uh, not going to work in a million years. Sorry to say, <laughs> yeah. Firebat Hero. But uh, I even mean, maybe, without... maybe like three three marines against unupgraded lurkers. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, I, that guy's have, enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> even without the uh, dark swarm being done, still a very very tough move. Oh my god! A little yeah. bit of mismanagement here from Firebat Hero, losing two science vessels to just for Scourge. A great pick off there for Jadon. Has a good spread of lurkers here in the front. This is not something you regularly see in the modern era. The Zerg player trying to take a advanced position far out in front of that fourth instead of just conservatively holding the entrance of the fourth and trying to get a defiler out as quickly as possible barbat here gonna push forward here drops a couple of irradiates will have the advantage here with his uh marine force in just a moment but uh defiler is now out I, he cannot break this now with the Defiler here to irradiate. Gonna run forward once again. Lurkers here though with the double sunken. You're not gonna be breaking through that area. No Marines with, or no medics with these Marines. Means that the Lings are gonna get some kills, but still a reasonable trade here for Firebat Hero. He is starting to explode here in his production. Tons of extra barracks here in the main. The third base is out. Gonna start to mine from that shortly here. Barbat Hero gonna grab bases all around the map. Four to five bases is the goal here so that he can continue this incredible marine and science vessel production and uh, prepare himself for the eventuality of a four gas Zerg, a four gas Bisu. He's gonna be popping out a ton of Ultralis here soon. Looks like trying to break through these temples at the back. Not sure what the point of that was, but he killed those temples. Gonna take a good trade here with the Lurkers and then back away. Really well played there. Oh, but a plague. Great plague there from Bisu. He will lose the Defiler, but he got huge value out of that uh, unit there. Finally, the Ultralis Cavern is coming online. Yeah, so we see this physics lab here, and that was super out of the ordinary for this time. Uh, the, the battle cruiser meta was not, not a thing in 2008. And also, he's only on two base right now, right? Like, I I don't see Firebat Hero having... Okay, yeah, he took this mineral only, sorry. But he's only on two gas. Yeah, that's wild. Only two uh, gas. I don't know why he would decide to take this mineral only. I'm in an exposed position here. And it's the, like the closest base uh, for the uh, um, Zerg to attack okay, the Defiler took like two o'clock also so hard to see why why yeah. do they have brown <laughs> the brown is not a for, for this quality vod there aren't a lot of good colors <laughs> like True, red blue and yellow are good brown probably the worst and the bcs are out here and jadong spots them so bcs not uh, common in this matchup at this time we'll see how jadong responds to it is he going to go for Hydralisk and Defiler, or will he just try to pop out Mass Scourge? An important note is, if you have a 0-0 on your Battlecruisers and there's one armor on the Scourge, they no longer one-shot. Bunch of, uh... Oh, God! That Defiler just walked out and didn't even get a spell down, and he's going to break through here. Oh, man. Jadong making a huge error. Not getting a Dark Swarm ready in time, letting all of the Lurkers die to these, uh science vessels and he loses control of his fourth gas this is going to get really bad for jadong you know you're saying that firebat hero is only on two gas himself but if he limits the zerg to three gas that's going to be fine for him it's going to be so hard for jadong to scrape together enough uh, gas to actually build the scourge necessary to deal with this it's funny that firebat hero is kind of leaving his uh 
battle cruisers on defense in the modern era we usually send battle cruisers to harass the zerg but oh he gets yeah. a free defiler there not bad yeah they're kind of just used as an a apm sync for the other player right of like i'm just gonna right. write i'm gonna a click your main and then forget about him exactly oh nice plague there and the dark swarm these battle cruisers are gonna be sent back home we haven't seen any further battle cruisers be added on here but we may end up seeing some additional ones here shortly uh, Third base has been retaken. Fourth base is down now. A third gas is going to allow Firebat Hero to uh, uh, produce battle cruisers in larger numbers. He could even add on a third starport here if he so chooses. This is, yeah, not the way we see battle cruisers used at all in the modern era. He's using them completely defensively and bringing them back, just continuously repairing them and building up that number. Battle cruisers in large number are very powerful, but against Dark Swarm and Plague, they really lose their value. Ultralists have finally now hit the field. It's hard to see the actual armor count, but we can see plus three is done for Firebat here. It looks like five armor on these Ultras. Battle Cruisers are being brought forward here to add on that damage. Using Yamato as well <laughs> to deal with them. Very nicely done. Picking off those Scourge as well. Keeping the uh, science vessels alive. They are very, very good at picking off Scourge. They do one shot. As long as you've got plus one on your battle cruisers, they will always one shot Scourge. Even if the Scourge have that plus three armor. So the battle cruisers now moving in here. He's actually going to pick off the Nidus. A great snipe here from Firebat here going for that Nidus. But meanwhile, he's losing control of his own third. It's like Jadong getting in here, bringing the Ultralis forward to try and shut down this base, but he doesn't have Ultralis speed yet. Some spore colonies are being morphed here by Jadong, trying to get them out, but he loses the Defiler. Oh no, that's so painful. Defiler going down there. That was the one tool that uh, Jadong really needed in order to shut this play down. Repairing the bunker here. Looks like he may just be able to break it. He does break through. And Jadon going to be able to kill this base, most likely. Some irradiates going down here on the fresh ultras that are popping out for Jadon. Standing over top of the hatcheries here, not allowing Scourge to pop out of those locations. Radiate on the Scourge. Getting rid of one of those. <laughs> Getting huge, huge value out of these science vessels throughout this game. But the uh, battle cruisers are the true heroes here. 13 kill battle cruiser here in the main base, still alive with a good amount of HP. His partner there with very low HP, but gonna get even more kills, it looks like. Oh, he's damaging the, the already damaged. BC, that goes down. Fighting against uh, Spores, not a good option. But a Dark Storm goes down here on the fourth base. How close are we to mind out for Firebat Hero? I think he doesn't have much left. Oh, running into these Lurkers. He loses so many Marines, but he's still got enough. He's going to push forward. Battlecruiser are here, not really firing, not really doing anything. Looks like it's going to die to a Spore Colony. Oh, still alive. It's going to fly into the main once again. This fourth base dies for the second time this game. Jadon losing that spot. But he's coming in with another counterattack here. Jadon surrounds and kills this Marine Medic Force. Looks like he's going to shut down both bases at the same time. This is a huge so problem for Firebat here right now. He, just rebuilt, a he never rebuilt the Nidus, though, for his third. Uh-oh. No Nidus at the third base. Means he can't actually reinforce that location. Maybe the fourth is going to go down here. Or the third going to go down here. There is another base over at the bottom center. But there's no way to transfer drones to that location except sending them all the way across the map. And so many drones are going to die here in the third. A lot of SCVs are going to go down as well. Actually, every SCV looks like it's going to fall. 
Are all every drone gonna fall? Excuse me. The SCVs may be going down here soon too, but we still got a ton of science vessels out on the map and constant irradiates may be able to win the day here. Battle cruisers overhead irradiates on everything. There's a nice plague. But it doesn't help out too much if he's got nothing that can shoot up. Still with quite a few units here. Oh. Jadong rallying across the map. He should be switching into Hydra right now. He needs Hydra so badly. Something, anything that can shoot up. But he just doesn't have it right now. Jadong's base down at the 6 o'clock is being hit by a battle cruiser. He's got nothing to deal with it. Mass Firebat now coming out for Firebat Hero. Living up to his namesake. Gonna be pushing out with just those Firebats. He's got a few SCVs. I don't know how many. But less than 12 gear gonna get to mining at that uh, freshly taken third base. No money in the bank. 40 uh, minerals is all he has. But he's got still a ton of science vessels. There's one Muta. A uh, one Muta is gonna chase these down. Oh my god. They've got no HP. Oh boy. Get one shot. There we go. He gets one. One kill here for that Mita, but is pushed back by the mass marine medic here in the middle of the map. Defiler's <laughs> mound is going to go down. That one battle cruiser, no HP. Imagine if he built a couple of Hydras. 15 yeah. kill battle cruiser wouldn't have done nearly as much. Going into the main he here, two more he battle did not cruisers. The Hydra or the battle cruisers. Not at all. And uh, these battle cruisers are getting so much work done here. Another building goes down in the main. Now the, yeah, the most important building actually you really need that right now uh hydra's den is going to be the second most important building as the uh, minerals and gas dry up here hydra's become incredibly valuable a lot of these uh science vessels could be picked off in just one hit if only he would pop out a few of those units ling's gonna make their way over here and shut down mining at the third base, he may end up killing every SCV here. They're getting very, very low. But actually does manage to escape with a few of those. We've got a base down here at the bottom left. That's a hidden location that uh, Firebat Hero has yet to scout. But the moment he finds out about that, he should be able to shut that down. He's heading this direction right now. Science vessels come through. They're going to throw down their uh, irradiate. Actually, not even necessary. He gets down, he shuts that down. Oh, there goes one of the last CCs here from Firebat Hero. But I think with the army, he's got, oh God, oh. Jadong sweating. <laughs> sweating up a storm here. He knows that he is very close to losing this game. Actually, there's probably no way for him to come back at this point. Yamato's going to come down, killing his uh, spores. And now he has free reign here over the natural. He can kill all of these drones. Jadon's got nothing left. A few mistakes were made, but a brilliant play here from Firebat Hero. A actual meta shifting game. Bringing out battle cruises and using them to great effect here in this TVZ. Some yeah, of the they modern didn't really catch on though for another <laughs> 10 years. <laughs> That's crazy to me. They but, are so uh, powerful yeah. here. But yeah, GG is called. Jadon taps out and Firebat Hero takes that victory. Oh, yeah. Let's let's see what ceremony he does. Alright. Famous. That's his thing. Yeah, Famous that's his for thing. ceremonies. Yeah. And you know he's Man, gonna Jadon. get crazy here after taking down Jadong. Such yeah. a massive victory. I think that was the ceremony, actually. That, he, that might be it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, happy guy. Yeah. Some nice jackets. That's what I was talking about, man. How come they didn't try to sell those jackets? Yeah. Jackets and... Uh, ASL t-shirts. That should be the the norm. Yeah, definitely. Merchandise the shit out of that brand. Make some money off of the English audience. Yeah. Why not, um, right? I know. Yeah. Um, I mean, 
part of it is they kind of just have that one ASL t-shirt that's not that good, but I'd still buy it. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Anyway, uh, guys. So yeah, about, about that game, I'd say Jadong played like a perfect early game, right? Like he he squashed that cheese. He he beat like all the moves out, move all the move outs with like perfect wing control, you know. Mm. But then uh, I don't know. Like I guess his, his uh, it was bad how he lost those mitas in the in the early mid game. And then uh, he still got to four gas and was looking great, but then he was really caught off guard by those battle cruisers, I think. But uh, even before that, just or I guess that was right when he started to see those is when he lost his fourth, right? When mm. his fourth got busted, I mean, he just couldn't come back from that. That's so hard to come back from. Yeah, absolutely. That was a wild play from Firebat Hero to just break through that. But, uh, you know, got to pay attention to how many irradiates are going down. He had like f six, seven lurkers at that uh, fourth base and uh, Firebat Hero just came through irradiated them all and in the moment they were all dead he breaks that location maybe too much going on on the map for Jadong to pay attention at that moment but yeah losing the fourth base critical damage uh, still made it a great game by getting in yeah, some definitely. really nice counter attacks and shutting down some of the mining for Firebat Hero but god Terran is so resilient, still able to come back, still able to mine just with a few workers and eke out those extra units, keep those battle cruisers alive as well. That was probably one of the bigger things is you really do need to focus on killing off those battle cruisers, and that's why it is such an APM sync for the Zerg players that it does take a lot of attention. Jadong wasn't willing to give it that attention. He ended up paying the price. And uh, Zerg players everywhere learned a very valuable lesson. Guys, thank you so much for joining us today. It was a really enjoyable retro cast. I'll see you guys in the next video.